Broken Bones here, and welcome to Broken's Bedrock Tutorials. Today, we're going to get into a villager beer, yes. This design is by Silent Whisperer, and we've made a few tweaks to it, and we've improved it quite a bit. Silent Whisperer's design does not have a farm attached to it, with a really simple automatic feeding system that keeps the baby villagers from ever getting food, so their inventories are always clean and ready to use. That right there was a big frustration of mine that I had, because all the designs out there all let the babies have food. Food falls down and they get it and it really kind of ruins things because then you get breeding going on down here by the adults and then you have babies in the adult chamber which is not what you want. As you can see as he's throwing food across no food is getting down here and all these babies have a clean inventory we don't have any breeding going down here whatsoever. And as you can see, the babies stay right here. They don't go up into the water. They stay right here in their holding cell. And we utilize these chests right here for minecarts. That way we can actually dispense out a minecart right into the villagers, which is pretty handy. It's a kind of a dual purpose. And as you can see, this chamber here has a rail cart that goes up right here. It has a rail right there that goes up. And it's completely sealed off. But the villagers don't take any damage going through there. They actually go through there just fine. And as you can see, if we hit this button right here, out comes a villager, no problem. Let's get started on the tutorial. Full material list down in the description. Before you get started, make sure that you are nowhere near another village. The minimum distance is 96 blocks. I've made sure that I'm 250 blocks away from my other villager breeder over there, just to be safe. To start things off, I like to chuck a line everything. I recommend that you guys do it too. You don't have to at this farm, but I definitely recommend it because that way when you load it, everything gets loaded in at the same time. So once you have your chunk aligned, then I want you guys to go ahead and make a dirt square. That's 18 by 18, which is two blocks wider than the chunk on two sides. Then fill it all in and leave these squares open. These squares are four blocks from the edge. And once you have that done, Go ahead and place in these slabs with a water bucket. Place a block on top of your waterlogged slabs with a light source on top, or you could just place a light source on top. Make your way to the corner that's aligned with your chunk, and we're going to remove these four corner blocks right here just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and take a glass wall, two high blocks all the way around. If you guys marked out your chunk like I did, you can go ahead and remove that glass down below, and then go ahead and come up here and place in a roof on top of your farm. And once you have that completed, make your way on down here. And what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and place in a dropper facing in this direction right here and another dropper facing down in that direction right there. Over here, we're going to go ahead and place in a block and a temporary block underneath with one out to the side just like this. We're going to place a comparator on that guy. We're going to put it on some track mode. We're going to place a block in front of it just like this with another block in front of that just like so. Place a bit of redstone on top of that one. Place a block up just like this, and you can leave that temporary block there until you get that one in place. We're going to take a repeater out from there, leave that on one tick, and two more blocks just like this with two bits of redstone on that. Once that's done, go ahead and make your way on over here and break this temporary block and we can test out our circuit. If you open up this dropper right here, go ahead and toss in a few items. It should empty itself, and if it does, go ahead and grab your hoppers and make your way up into the farm. You can go ahead and crouch place a hopper into that dropper, another one into there, a hopper out to the side, and a hopper out to this side. Go ahead and grab your fence post, put one there and there, and then if you go ahead and put something in here, let's go ahead and put a couple flowers in here. There you go. Make your way out of the farm and come back on down here. We're going to place in the floor so a villager can stand in there. There's going to be a villager here and a villager in here harvesting carrots. And he's going to want to throw carrots to this villager, except they're going to get picked up by the hopper and go down in, into this system. And this system here is going to dispense the carrots out to the villagers, which the villagers are going to be right under these two blocks. So go ahead and place in two glass blocks just like that. Over here, we're going to place in a trap door right here in this orientation. Flap it down so it's just like this. Then we're going to go ahead and place a temporary block in there. Two glass blocks off to the side like that. You can break out your temporary block. We're going to place in two blocks down just like this. Another temporary block and one underneath it all just like so. That's going to be where your food goes in. And this is what stops it from going down to the baby. Since it lands on this block, the babies will never get it. And the villager that's standing right here will pick it up through this trap door. So now we now need to build their chamber, which is going to go in just like this. Let's go ahead and place these temporary blocks in to get that guy over here there we go we're gonna do two up just like that two down here just like so another one right there on this right here we're gonna go ahead and came, come down with a temporary block place in 
two bits of glass panes just like so. That'll go ahead and, and be what the villagers stand on and the baby villagers can fall off of that, which is quite convenient. And we're gonna place a non-solid block right there to not make those glass panes wall to it. So we wanna place those in this orientation right here, just like so. There we go. All right, and once you have that done, you're gonna to wanna to come under this slab right here, place in a glass block, and you're gonna come out three just like so. And then down here, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five blocks down, and we're gonna do that all the way around. Leaving this side open, we're gonna go ahead and come up the four blocks right there and right here, there we go. Then we can bring a temporary block out here for this. We're gonna go up by two blocks. The villagers are gonna come up and over that and fall back down, which is actually quite handy. Then we're gonna go ahead and continue this uh, chamber right here. This is gonna come up here just like so. Fill that all in, fill this in, fill that in, and bring that on down like so. There we go. Then we're gonna go ahead and come over here. We're gonna bring this up here just like this. Now your villager holding cell should be looking a lot like this. And if it is, go and come on down here. You're gonna place in three buttons just right here. Then we also need to get right here. We're gonna place in a button on the face of that block right there and put that one back. Now it's time for the water, but before we get started with that, I accidentally placed this button a one block too high, so let's go ahead and move that one down here. That's where that one belongs. Let's go ahead and put that right there before you move on. Let's go ahead and get that. Now we need to add the water. So let's go ahead and add the water. To do that, we need to go ahead and place in three temporary blocks. You can put any blocks of any kind right there, right above the buttons. Then we need to go ahead and remove this. We're gonna place in one water source there. We're gonna replace that block just like that. You'll see that it'll flow forward right into the button that we need to be there. Then we can go ahead and remove these temporary blocks here. Let's go ahead and remove those. Then you can come underneath and we can block this off right there. That'll stop that water. Then we can place in three water sources, one there, one there, and one there. You should have four water sources in total, three on the bottom and one back over here. You do not need any right here. This is what's gonna be pushing the villagers forward and into the holding cell. So as soon as your water looks like that, go ahead and come on down here. We're gonna place one block down right here. You're gonna grab a dispenser and place that in that orientation right there. Come around back. We're gonna crouch place a hopper into the back of that one, another one into the back one, and another one into that one right there. There we go. Then we're gonna go ahead and crouch place uh, a couple chests onto here. Let's go ahead and take a chest right there, a chest right there, and another one right there. There we go. That'll be where the villagers land on, and it's also our minecart storage. Go ahead and place a button on the side of that dispenser right there, just like so. We need to go ahead and take this glass and encase this down here like that. This one's gonna stay one block up, but the other two sides are gonna come all the way to the bottom of the dispenser, just like that. Down here, we're gonna actually take a slime block. This is gonna be what the villagers land on so they don't take any damage when they fall. And then we're gonna go ahead and take solid blocks. We're gonna go out from there just like this in a diagonal fashion, just like so. You're gonna put a powered torch right there, just like that. Then you're gonna take your rail system. You're gonna take a powered rail right there, a regular rail right there, and another powered one, just like that. And as you can see, that's powered. And you can literally run that out to wherever you want to. Don't forget to come on down here. We're gonna put one piece of glass there and one piece of glass there, and that completely seals that up. All that's left right here is literally just a floor. You can come in right here, place in a floor, and decorate it however you like. Now for the fun part, the villagers. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a villager in here. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna go and open up the top there and get ourselves a villager right there. There we go. We need to get him a bed. Let's go ahead and place down a bed right here. He should link to that here soon, as soon as you see the green little uh, stars above his head. He should link to that here shortly. There he goes. All right, now we need to give this guy a workstation. He needs to be a farmer, so we need to get a composter right there. And he should link up to that here shortly as well. There he goes. Now he's got his profession. As long as he can work with this workstation, he should stay linked with it. He'll be doing what he's doing right now and putting carrots and potatoes and wheat and stuff in there. And working with those workstation that'll make it to where the other villagers that are in this farm will not link to his workstation so now we need another villager right here you do not need a workstation for him but you do need a bed let's go ahead and place down one more bed right here there we go there he goes he linked up to that one and now you can go ahead and till your farm and place in your carrots go ahead and come on down here and we need to get two villagers in here 
So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and break these two pieces of glass out temporarily. And we're going to go ahead and break out that slab. We're going to place in a couple temporary blocks in right here just like that. That's going to be where we get our villager in. So we're going to go ahead and get one villager in here. Let's go ahead and push him in here. Let's see if we can get him in there just like so. There we go. Get him around that trap door there. We're going to go ahead and place a trap door down here. Flip it up. That's going to keep him in there. And we're going to go ahead and get another villager out here. He's going to go ahead and get pushed in onto the other side, just like so. Once he's in, go ahead and take your glass. Oop, nope, he just got out. These guys are a pain. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get him in there. There we go. Put the glass in there. Get him sealed on up. Then go ahead and remove these temporary blocks and place in your slab. Come on down here and load up your system with some minecarts so it's all set and ready. There they go. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> These guys are awesome. These guys are training with each other and everything's working. So let's go ahead and come on down here. We're going to come down off these two blocks right here just like that. Come two blocks down and we're going to use a bunch of temporary blocks here. We're going to go ahead and come all the way to the other slab over here. Here we are. And we're going to make a big square all the way around from slab to slab just like this. Once you have that in, you should see that it's a 10 by 10 square. Once you have that done, come on over here. Go ahead and place in your beds right here. You're going to place in a line of beds right here, and you'll see they'll link up to them. Go ahead and place those all in, and go ahead and just make row after row after row of beds. After you're done, that should be 50 beds, and they should look like this. Go ahead and break out these temporary blocks that you have underneath. As you can see, after you get the beds in, it's just a matter of time before these guys start making the babies. <laughs> They're about to have a kid anytime. There they go. <laughs> They've already got one in there, too. Oh, my goodness. These guys have been getting busy. Look at that. They got, like, 15 kids in there, I think. And they're still getting busy. Yep, they're definitely still getting busy. <laughs> hey, there we go. Now we got another adult coming in. And as you can see, before long, you're going to have a lot of adults in there ready to go. And with the mine carts that we loaded up right here in the dispenser, if you click one... It'll take any of those guys out of the cart and it'll send them on their way. <laughs> and that, everybody, is my improved version of this villager breeder here. Now none of these villagers are going to have any type of food in their inventory. Their inventories are going to be completely clean. You can use these for any type of crop farm that you want to use. You can go ahead and make an iron farm out of them if you want to. They won't breed up because they don't have any food inside their inventory so that's exactly why I wanted to build this and show you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial hopefully it was helpful to you guys and if it was make sure to smack the like button and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next tutorial <laughs> have a good one